Hello and welcome to Kismetrising and I'm really sorry I couldn't get the weekly oracle card guidance out earlier. It's just been really busy and I've been very tired and uh, just needing to rest. And so it's a little bit late but I guess it will last you for the next week or so and perhaps the energy will last a bit longer than that. I'm not sure I'll be able to get a, a weekly oracle card guidance out next week. I will try but I might not be able to. Uh, but I will be back um, with more. I will get some um, pick a card readings out though, uh, a couple at least, and um, I will try to get a couple out next week as well. And then back in uh, January, around from the tenth of January, I, it will be back to normal, and I will be at work, and I will be happy to do the oracle card guidance. And as I mentioned in the other video. Uh, that I shot earlier, which is the energy forecast, um, which will probably be uploaded after this. Um, I have um, mentioned that uh, from the middle of January or so, I will set up a, uh, an account on Rumble and I will uh, be doing some energy forecasts there, a bit more in detail, a few uh, political uh, psychic readings and uh, looking at various political states and structures and um, governments. And I will also um, be able to speak more freely there uh, than I have really been able to speak in my, in my YouTube channel, I think. And you, for those of you who are interested, you're welcome to join me there as well. All right. So in the meanwhile, uh, let's get ahead. Please go ahead and choose up between option one, two and three. I understand that I don't have a trinket uh, for you right now. I just um, I usually what I try to do is see what resonates with the um, with the cards. And uh, just I just, you know, I haven't been inspired by something arbitrary. So I usually I just don't feel like using something like this. So I just ask you to choose between one, two and three and we can go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one. Oops, something's flown out. And bust has fallen out. I'm gonna put it back in the in the deck, and we'll see if it comes out again. So once again, for those of you who've chosen option number one, and we have Brigitte, and the card says, "Don't back down." So for those of you who chosen the option number one, the card here is Brigid and the, it reads, don't back down, it reads, stand up for what you believe is right. And I think that there is such a theme right now. So for those of you who, who have been asking that question, who have been needing to know what the, what is that answer, it's don't back down, you know, just stand by your belief, stand by what it is that you choose to do. Don't give in right now. Now, I think that you need to draw on the strength of Brigid. Uh, to be able to do that because what what the, the goddess Brigitte represents here is the ability to be tenacious uh, the ability to be um, uh, to be to be innovative and also to be determined enough to persevere not just to persevere but to be courageous enough to stand up for what it is that you believe and to be able to make the sacrifices that are required of your beliefs of your stance and so I think here it's um, it's necessary for you to to be able to to do that. I think if you have been wondering, if you have been teetering on, on giving in in some way or, or doing what is what is expected of you and um, because you just have to, because it's just become really difficult not to be able to do it, not to be able to um to, to if you're just tired because you're tired of fighting in a situation because you don't want to be um, outside of things because you aren't able to participate in whichever way then I think that it's it's necessary at this moment to say okay well I do have these beliefs I am going to make these sacrifices it is going to be uncomfortable but I'm going to just stand my ground a little longer because I feel what's happening here is that it won't be for very long that you'd have to do that it seems like there is going to be some kind of a release and some kind of a letting go of the energy. And you can call upon Brigitte 
to actually, uh, Brigitte, to actually um, uh, support you and give you the strength that you need in order to be courageous enough, to be brave enough uh, to not back down. And um, I think here it's also... Um, something it could apply to you in many different ways maybe you don't really have to back down from everything maybe it's just a matter of you uh, keeping your opinion about something it doesn't really have any uh, physical or material consequences for you or social consequences for you but however you want to be able to keep your beliefs about something and um, this card is saying well just you know stand up for what you believe is right do what it is you think is right because ultimately you have to live with yourself and it's you that you need to answer to not all these other people all right so i'm going to leave it there i hope that helps you it's quite a direct simple simplified message um but i hope that it does give you something of what you need in this upcoming time so I finished the option number one, but I just want to bring these cards back because this is the card that fell out earlier. And I did the reading for this one, but I just want to say that being independent is a really important part of you not backing down this week. It really ties into each other. And your independence, it reads here, is a foundation for your strength and success. And it's just that you're going to be able, if you just don't back down, but you'd be, you do so gracefully and you do so with strength of who you are and feeling secure about who you are and what decisions you've taken and um, just being really 100% sure of who you are, then there's nothing that you can lose in the process of not backing down. You simply just stand your ground, you be graceful and elegant and you just take whatever is coming at you and you just hold up your light and hold up your, your, your belief of yourself and you just, you know, manage whatever is coming at you. You don't have to take it in. You don't have to absorb it. You, you don't have, you know, you can deflect it in a way that is um, going to be empowering for you and not uh, falling from grace or losing your dignity in the process. Okay, I just felt I needed to say that. So I wanted to bring these two cards back and just add that in. All right, um, many blessings and wishing you a, a wonderful festive season. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is it that you need to know right now? What is it that you need to know right now? So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, the card that we have is Abundant Chia. And it's the, the caption is prosperity and reads the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So I think that you might find that as this week goes along that you have re you receive many benefits. You receive perhaps discounts um, when you want to purchase something or perhaps you expect you can spend a lot more money than you ha do have to. Perhaps you have your fridge breaks down or something like this and then you find that um that somebody pays for it or your insurance pays for it or or you get a, a huge discount on the repair and uh, that's just an example by the way it could be anything you might find that people are taking uh, time out to offer you things and to buy you things or to pay for something or you might find that your partner or your family are doing the same and so i think that as this week goes on there's quite a lot of abundance coming your way you might find that uh, you it's a good time to I wouldn't, this card is not necessarily a card for playing the lotto, um, but it could be a time where you could play the lotto and you could win. Even if it's not huge amounts, there would be some small offerings coming your way. There are, there is also abundance coming in, not just in terms of money, but also in terms of time, something that might normally take five days to process or to, to be delivered. It's going to take a short amount of time. It could be overnight or two days or something like this it's that's just the kind of i'm just giving you examples it doesn't have to work exactly like that for you but it's something similar to that i think also that you might find that there's an abundance of tolerance as far as friendships are concerned as far as um receiving others are concerned uh, so if they're you know somebody's willing to bend them bend backwards to be able to accommodate you or you uh, find that it's easier for you to be able to bend backwards to accommodate another person and so i think that there's just a lot of um generosity as far as this card is concerned and i think it's a great time 
to be able to be generous as well and to be able to give freely and abundantly and not be too not to hold not to grasp too tightly to something that you have be free in terms of what you're able to give to others and if you are able to do something for free for someone at this moment go ahead and do it it is a time where such um, actions will be rewarded greatly all right so i'm going to leave it there because it's quite a, a direct message it doesn't really say much more than that i don't feel it as much more than that i think that's the most important message for you this week i think a lot of different things will happen for you this week and it's going to be um, quite a lot of different emotions uh, but ultimately it feels quite relaxed and and uh, you can tap into something that's quite relaxed and you don't need to be stressed and uh, you will find that at some point your stress just alle- alleviates so um, go ahead and enjoy your time and receive allow yourself to receive the abundance that is coming your way if you aren't able to receive then um, then it will be difficult to uh, to actually um yeah to be able to experience this abundance (laughs) all right so that's all for that and i wish you a happy holidays and um um, yes many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen the option number three wow we have brigitte again i'm just going to put that back and just see if it comes out again For those of you who've chosen option number three, we're asking, what is it that you need to know at this moment for this week as we go ahead? All right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, I think this, this is just the crux of everything right now. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Endings and beginnings. The goddess is Kali. And I think that um, it's such an important message because it is really a time where we need to understand and, and allow ourselves to let go, to be able to say, okay, well, that doesn't work for me. Or these people don't really resonate with me. Or this person doesn't really f- give me what I need as a human being. And I'm going to leave this behind. It doesn't mean that you need to um, break up with anyone or um, ruin a friendship or something like this. But rather just to be able to understand that you are going to move into a different direction come the new year on the solstice as we you know ending this time with this full moon we are also entering a new phase of our lives and i think that um we must this card is really talking about not being afraid to let go not being afraid to try something new not being afraid to go through your cupboards and seeing what doesn't belong there anymore not being afraid to also just go through your cupboards and reorganize things so that it's easier for you to access it or to just um you know clean up sort things out get things repaired that need to be repaired um reorganize things and just be prepared for your new beginning because I think a new beginning can be really powerful for you and it's really um it's really a time where it's almost like yeah the ending is taking place now and there's going to be a bit of a break and then the new beginning is coming and I think one could see that as being you know the new beginning being the new year but I think it has nothing really to do with new year it's more about the energy and I think for you what it means is that let's prepare let's just prepare for what is coming in the new year because it can actually be a really powerful time it can be a really energetic time and you can shift quite dramatically you can move mountains at this moment I feel like it's a time oh sorry I feel like it's a time where you might be able to really make huge headway in your life because it's just such a um, a powerful time. Um, it's such an important time to be able to make decisions for yourself that actually feed you, that benefit you, that, that give you what you need in your life and rather than, um, than making decisions that are are not really feeding you you know not really working for you so i think that uh that that is you know a part of of what is happening right now i think also that uh, you know i'm sorry i'm just picking up the energy of this card and getting a little bit distracted with that but the um 
it what what is also here what is also what it's also showing me is that you could make such a huge life change that you would be going in a completely different direction, like something that you might have just imagined doing, you might do, you know. And it's, perhaps if you work nine to five in some place and you've decided, OK, I'm going to go backpacking around the world, um, even though it's a difficult time to do that at this moment, I would imagine. Uh, but, you know, and then you just do it. You just decide, OK, I'm going to break free and I'm going to just do this right now. And I think that the, the it's like something like a whole landscape could change your whole life could change it's like you could just suddenly begin again and with completely different routines completely different people around you and a completely different experience and this card is here to say well that is possible and you're welcome to go ahead for that at least prepare for that at least move towards that now i don't think such a dramatic change is going to be in the cards for every single person listening to this message but i do think that um regardless the 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 new beginnings the change that's coming is going to be quite a powerful one and you're going to be feeling that for many many months to come All right so i'm going to leave it there that's quite a short direct message but i think there isn't that much to say about this aside from that it can be really spectacular if you allow it to be and that i think that is really what's important that it's important you you need to be able to be brave enough to allow the endings to to continue so that you can have the new beginning all right so good luck with that and i want to wish you all a very lovely holiday and a very blessed um, um, festive season and i hope that you uh, actually come into 2022 with a lot of ease all right sending many blessings to you all and um, yes blessings abound from kismet rising <laughs>